If you like the Marx Brothers and their caffeinated madcap comedy, you'll love this version of the 1930s classic film. The performances are excellent, the Art Deco set is eye candy, the pacing is perfect. Yet, if, like me, you adore the work of Groucho and his siblings and find the comic routines as familiar as your mother's lullabies, you might have a problem. Take my response to the spectacular performance of Mark Bedard in the Groucho role of Captain Spaulding. His exuberance is infectious, his timing spot on, his delivery quick and sure. In fact, with his entrance as the African explorer, I nearly swooned at the resemblance. I wanted so much to believe my celluloid friend was there in flesh and blood. What a treat. But then as the play progressed and my love eyes adjusted to the reality that this was an actor and not my hero Groucho, my ear and my eye fell prey to the slightest differences. While the inflection was there, the voice print was not Groucho's. Where Groucho had a raspy, nasty edge, Bedard Spaulding came off as sweet. While these differences were disquieting, they should not be deemed failings. My reaction resulted from the degree of Bedard's success. My response, in fact, was predictable, according to a hypothesis in the fields of animation and robotics called the Uncanny Valley. The theory holds that when human replicas look and act almost, but not perfectly, like human beings, it causes a response of actually revulsion among human observers. For the record, I felt no such revulsion. In other words, Bedard's performance was just a bit too close for comfort. The plot here, a thin skeleton on which to hang the high-spirited hijinks, centers on the unveiling of a famous painting during a society soiree. Rivals of the host seek to embarrass her by replacing the painting with an inferior copy. At the same time, a reporter intends to replace the original with her artist boyfriend's fake. Meanwhile, two sappy subplots provide welcome opportunities to catch our breaths between full-speed laps of lunacy. The nearly impossible mission in this adaptation, directed by Alison Narver, was not merely to track the script of a classic film, but to recreate the original production and the original cast. Even before Bedard makes his initial entrance, by the way, this comic inventiveness of the production is revealed in the form of two life-size marionette chorus lines, ingenious levered contraptions operated by an actor in the middle. The gimmick is delightfully reprised in the second act, with Bedard as Groucho dancing within a line of five Grouchos. I've never seen anything like it. Animal Crackers once run through November 4th at the Angus Bomer Theatre. I gave it four out of five rosies.